welcome to your weekday cup of the word. Today we're going to look at the book of Philemon. It's a one chapter book, but it is such a powerful book when you put it in the context. It is a book about reconciliation. Paul writes a letter to Philemon, and it's a letter about uh, a slave that he owned, Onesimus, who was a runaway slave. Philemon was a Christian who was a slave owner, and apparently at some point, one of his slaves, Onesimus, stole some money from him and, and ran off. Uh, but here's the funny part of the story. Somewhere along the line, Onesimus, this runaway slave, ran into Paul and became a Christian. And so Paul writes this letter to Philemon, talking about Onesimus, and how he should forgive Onesimus, and how he should give him another chance, and how he's actually hoping that Onesimus might be able to help Paul, that he could uh, continue to help Paul because he's been useful to him. And here's the real catcher. Paul has the letter delivered to Philemon by Onesimus. Onesimus is going to take this letter that talks about him and, and, and the things that he did and, and asks and appeals that he'd be forgiven now that he has come to Christ and that Philemon would just let it be water under the bridge and Onesimus delivers it to the front door. And you can only imagine what kind of courage it would take for a runaway slave to, to appear before his slave owner, who very easily could have legally put him to death for having run away, and certainly for having stolen from him. And so here is Philemon looking at a letter. Which do I do? What the Roman law allows me to do? Or do I do what Christ's law tells me to do? which is to, to forgive and to give joy and to be thankful and to embrace this man as my brother. That's Philemon, a story of true love, deep love, genuine Christ-like love. Can we be people like that? That's your daily cup, and we'll see you. Mm -hmm.